You're looking live at the scene of the city's latest homicide. Detectives with CMPD are investigating uh, this homicide on Porter Street. There's very limited information right now. I'm here, simply here, begging and pleading for justice for my child. Thursday night, Tanya Hoskins wanted to make sure that her daughter, Tyra Crosby, was not forgotten and that her full story was shared. She was our angel, our flower, murdered unnecessarily, lured to a home, and brutally beaten and murdered. Just after 5 a.m., Charlotte Mecklenburg police responded to a home near 500 Porter Street in a residential area in Northwest Charlotte after a woman said she shot a stranger that was inside of her home. Upon arrival, they would find an unresponsive adult female inside. It happened at a home on Porter Street just off Roswell's Ferry Road. CMPD says shots were fired after a woman came home and found a stranger inside her house when she got there. Our crews were at the scene and spoke with officials who detailed what exactly happened. Resident had arrived home, found an unknown other female inside the residence, and a shot was fired. There is a homicide investigation on scene right now. Currently, one person of interest and one witness are being interviewed downtown. CMPD says there's no other suspects involved, or it doesn't appear to have any other danger to the public. The victim was identified as 25-year-old Tyra Crosby, who was sadly pronounced dead at the scene. An investigation revealed Tyra was killed after another woman, 51-year-old Stephanie Alexander, who investigators determined was the homeowner, arrived home and found her inside. Alexander, along with her husband, remained on scene until detectives arrived. She was immediately identified as a suspect and taken to police headquarters to be interviewed along with her husband, who was considered a witness. She was subsequently charged with voluntary manslaughter and transferred into the custody of the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office. Detectives are investigating the shooting as a domestic incident and not a home invasion. Police on the scene of a homicide on Porter Street in Northwest. This is between Roswell's Ferry Road and Freedom Drive. Now, this started as a home invasion investigation. According to police, a woman called 911 saying she shot and killed a woman she found in her house. Investigators say they do not believe the two women knew one another. It was the, the alleged shooter's husband is the only witness in this case. And I do want to get to some video my photographer Alex took early this morning when we first arrived. Uh, that was here on Porter Street, and police were investigating early this morning. That 911 call came in just before 5.30 a.m. Now, the person of interest and her husband were taken to police headquarters to be interviewed. A next-door neighbor told me gun violence has become a big issue in this area over the past few years. That neighbor, Jeanette Jones, says her own home has been, up, has been shot up twice now since she's moved here. Now, do everybody shooting. We got drive-by shootings. You hear it all the time. And you hear it back here in that warehouse back there. Mm -hmm. They be back there shooting, racing cars in the parking lot. The mother of 25-year-old Tyra Crosby says she won't rest until her daughter gets justice. According to her, Tyra was in fact invited into the home by Alexander's husband, whom she had no clue was married when she accepted the invitation. Her mother also described a voicemail that was left by Tyra right before she was murdered. She claimed that her daughter could be heard being brutally and repeatedly beaten by Alexander before she ended her life. She is now hoping that this new evidence can shed light on what really happened inside of the home that early morning. Cosby's mom says she wants you to know what really happened to her daughter. She was killed Tuesday morning on Porter Street in Northwest Charlotte. CMPD says Stephanie Alexander arrived home, found Crosby inside, and then shot her. Alexander is charged with voluntary manslaughter. WBTV's Cam Gaskins is live outside CMPD tonight. So, Cam, what did Crosby's mom tell you? Yeah, Molly, she wanted us to know that her daughter, Tyra Crosby, was not an intruder in Alexander's home and was actually invited inside by Alexander's husband. And that's why she believes the charges deserve to be upgraded to first-degree murder. And that's why she wanted to make sure her daughter's story was shared tonight. It's all new at 11. So I'm here, simply here, begging and pleading for justice for my child. Thursday night, Tanya Hoskins wanted to make sure that her daughter, Tyra Crosby, was not forgotten and that her full story was shared. She was our angel, our flower, murdered unnecessarily, lured to a home and brutally beaten and murdered. 
According to CMPD, Stephanie Alexander returned home to her house on Porter Street in Northwest Charlotte early Tuesday morning and found Crosby inside before shooting and killing her. Crosby's mother says that Tyra was invited into that home by Alexander's husband and that her daughter did not know he was married or that he and his wife owned that home. She was invited there. She did not just pop up there. She was not an intruder. She was invited there. She also says that Crosby called her in her final hour and left a voicemail in which you can hear Alexander beating her before shooting her. According to Hoskins, it was a prolonged beating, and she's hopeful that this new evidence will elevate the charges against Alexander. Because right now she's charged with the lowest form of murder. I want it up to first degree murder. Alexander was charged with voluntary manslaughter and booked into the Mecklenburg County Jail on Tuesday. Hours later, she was out on bond. She murdered my daughter at 5 a.m and she was out at 8 p.m. So that means that human life means nothing anymore. For now, Hoskins says she'll wait for CMPD to investigate, but she won't let anyone forget. I don't want the investigators to go away. I won't stop until there's another charge. Injustice for my child. Following her arrest, 51-year-old Stephanie Alexander appeared in court and was given a $250,000 bond. She was quickly released from jail and is scheduled to appear in court on August 7th. Detectives do not believe the two women know each other and are carrying out an in-depth investigation of the case. All subsequent charges in this case will be determined by the Mecklenburg County District Attorney's Office. The case remains ongoing.